everybody, it's me. I'm back. It's the How To Homemaker. I have been busy. Before we get into it today, I just wanted to tell you guys why I haven't really been around. You know how I made the commercial, like the Hire Me video? And I'm trying to start my own business and do my own handyman service and things like that. Well, the last video that I posted was right around the time, like it was just after the commercials. I had just made a really good Kijiji ad and I got a lot of business and I I never expected it to be like that so I just took everything that I could get and then I was like holy crap I, I have too much to do and it was just ended up being overboard of, of what I wanted so anyways what I'm saying is I need to learn how to regulate and that's why I have not been around because I was a little bit too crabby for a YouTube video but we're here today and also I wanted to tell you guys I've been approached to sell my resin projects in a store so that's kind of cool I've got a lot of experience doing that now I did a resin video for Father's Day if you were to scroll back but it was when I very first started and still getting kind of sticky projects now I'm going pretty solid with the resin I've done really good I've got a lot of experience doing it now and I just wanted to in order of selling in, in honor of selling in the store do a resin video to help other people who pour resin to do better with what they have to work with I work with I should tell you guys the art resin that you can get on Amazon this stuff is just easily accessible and it's not bad I can work with it but I found out it's not a one-to-one -one weight mix it's a one-to-one -one volume mix so my resin was always going down a lot faster than the hardener but the resin is more dense than the hardener We'll talk about that in the video because I really do think the only, the less you pour it into all the different cups is the less bubbles that you're going to have. So if we can just pour it into one cup, mix it, and then pour it into our projects, that's the goal that I strive for. So let's get to work. I'll show you guys what I've done. The other tip that I have to say, you'll see when I keep pointing down there, that's where we're working today. <laughs> but you'll see when I turn the camera angle down that there is stuff already put into the molds. You don't want to mix your stuff, mix your resin, and then not have a plan. You want to have a plan because then you'll just be in a jam. So let's turn this down. This is the stage that you should be at just before you pour. But there is going to be other stuff that I put into these designs. Just let's do the work. <laughs> So yeah, 
I hope that that helped you guys out. If you are looking to do some resin, if you want to refine your own process because you found that you tried and it was just too much of a mess, I hope that this helped because when I started out in the beginning, it was very frustrating. I probably wasted a whole bottle of resin and hardener just because I wasn't doing it properly. And like I said, the ratio make sure when you're using your products that you're using the proper ratio i work construction regularly so i'm used to being able to just dump two things in one to one i didn't even register that it was a volume ratio and not a weight ratio which is very frustrating because they know <laughs> that the less you pour the less bubbles there are so I really do suggest doing a little bit of math and doing the weight ratio if you have a volume product because that's just the one pour into the same cup. You mix it and then it's the one pour into your project. Also, if you're doing a big project like, okay, this is a good mold. This is a honey beehive and this is a pretty big project. So if I was going to pour all of this at once, I would actually mix it up and then heat it in my toaster oven and don't heat it, heat it. Like I put it lower than the actual temperature gauge goes and then I open the door and I walk away for about a minute or so. But that little bit of heat activation makes it more viscous. And so the air bubbles that are in it graduate together a lot easier because they can travel in the liquid a lot better. And then they just rise to the top as one. And it goes pretty quickly like that. And then it helps you to have a better solid pour. But if you're doing something just flat, like what we did today, I have no problems. I even sometimes stir it faster than you're supposed to because I just walk by and I'll torch it when the bubbles come up for, you know, the next hour. It's all you got to do. So that is how I have such good, clean, clear product with maybe not the best quality stuff. That's the other thing. Don't be too hard on yourself because if you're using a product and it's just not working for you, it could actually be the product. Like art resin is a good price, so I go with it. But if I ever came across something in like Home Depot and they're having a sale on epoxy resin that you use for coating a floor or whatever, I would buy that because it's the same thing. And if it's cheaper than what I'm using here, it's probably a better quality than just art resin. And I don't mean, <laughs> I shouldn't say art resin because that's the brand name, but I just mean resin that you would use for an art project. I think that a floor quality resin would be better. So that's my two cents. And I know that my husband's worked a lot in plastic, so he's actually taught me a lot of this stuff as I went along. And... I hope that I could pass that on to you guys well enough. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you like what I see because I really want to reach 100 subscribers. I want to be able to say that my channel is www.thehowtohomemaker.com. That would be very exciting for me. So please subscribe to my channel. Tell other people if you like what you see. I just make videos in my spare time. So I hope that that's enough for you people. <laughs> oh, you people. I'm not allowed to say things like that anymore. <laughs> Anyways, Don Cherry, I probably won't get fired. I'm not making any money anyway. Um, that's all I got to say. Yeah, I'm the how-to homemaker. Hope you learned lots. Oh, and my next video is going to be on pyrography wood burning. It's going to be a special video for my honey because our anniversary is coming up and I hopefully I will have it ready by the time. But like I said, I, my week is packed. There is a lot of stuff going on with the business growing and things like that. So I'm sure he'll understand, but that is my goal. So I've said goodbye a few times now, so I'll just say it again. Bye guys. And I hope that your holiday sh shopping is going well and that that wasn't offensive. <laughs> Bye.